Hey everyone, welcome to my first video for a while for the flow class and the theme this term has been to create space. So we're going to just start with a little simple warm up, nothing too complicated, just think about moving the back in different ways, perhaps some forward and back bends, some seated. Just feel into the stretch of the spine, maybe you're doing a little wide leg stretch, I'm just giving you some options here obviously. Uh, you can do whatever you like today, maybe a cat pose, uh, lovely ways of moving into the spine or lizard pose, side to side. Have a little swish, it doesn't have to be anything too strong, just try and wake up the spine gently and just feeling into your space for some nice deep breaths. You might come into a child pose with the arms long. That can really feel really good for the shoulders. You might gently stretch the arms over to one side and then the other. Feel along the side rib cage and the waist. A lovely side stretch. You might come up into opening up the space of the heart as we're doing some opening work today. Heart to earth is really good for opening the heart, letting the back bend in the thoracic and in the shoulders. And it can help to take that a little bit more of a stretch on each arm by reaching out with one and then the other. And from this pose, we can slide towards the floor, modifying the traditional eight points or chaturanga and salute to the sun. And placing those forearms down and easing through a caterpillar roll on towards the floor. You don't have to come all the way down. It's just a nice way of easing yourself into the eight point and towards the cobra pose, which will be in our flow. Maybe you're stepping forward, giving yourself a little stretch through the hips and legs, just gently feeling your way into doing a bit of a long lunge and a stretching back and maybe playing a bit with that to find your comfortable stretch. If rolling on the knees is problematic, you might lift off the knees and into and the lunge. Now stepping up to the front of the mat, come into a nice forward fold, kind of ragdoll style. Soften the knees and just hang out there. Inhale, have a stretch up and draw the hands into prayer. We'll use the salute to the sun as a bit more warm up for our flow. So on the inhale, extend and then sweep down into forward fold. Inhale, come halfway up to half bow, gliding the hands and then step back with the right foot. And then into plank, just finding your nice straight strong line there. And take yourself down as I demonstrated, that little caterpillar move, knees down, down through into cobra and then press back into down dog when you're ready. And then we lunge up and it's okay if you don't get your foot right through to the hands. You can always drop the knees to help get there. And we're coming through to forward fold. Extending on the inhale into receiving pose and then gathering back into the heart. And we'll come through again. Just give yourself time to roll through. Keep the knees soft as you go through into the forward bend. And when you step back, the left foot this time. Remember, you can drop to the knees, easing your way down through into the little child pose, maybe, and then into cobra. Just stretch back here. You can always switch to cat pose if you prefer instead of downward facing dog. Remember, down dog is about stretching the back. So if you come into it, maybe just keeping those knees bent or, or really walking the feet, loosening the hamstrings and just keeping a sense of lengthening the spine. We're not too worried about getting those heels to the floor. When you're ready, you might drop to the knees and bring that foot forward to get back into your lunge. That's a good way of getting through to standing. And of course, always bending the knees to come out of your forward fold, extending up and then coming into the heart. So we'll take this a little bit stronger, but of course, use the modifications I've suggested. You might Tuck in a little bit deeper into that forward bend as you come in. You might not come as high up, you know, the legs into half bow. 
Plant the palms back and step back into plank. Strong abdomen. You might come through to eight point the knees, chest, chin at the same time, which is a bit stronger. That's too much. Remember the caterpillar roll and through to cobra. Stepping back as you breathe in into fold, fold as you breathe out. Inhale, sweeping up, feel into that spaciousness of the heart. And then exhale back to the heart into prayer. And we'll do one more warm up. Salute, releasing down to the floor, stepping, stepping back on the left side this time. Stepping back into plank. And taking your eight point, your choice, your version. Keeping the shoulders back as you roll through into cobra. Elbows tucked in. And then back into down dog, keeping those nice soft knees. Or you can start to stretch those legs now a little more. Stepping up with the left foot when you're ready. Into your forward fold. Exhaling. And then breathing in, drawing up, extending the arms into receiving pose. Hands into prayer as you breathe out. Now give yourself a little shake and that completes the warm up. So just have a look at the half moon, which is part of this flow. And we might need a brick or you can use any furniture that you've got around uh, to move into the half moon. It's useful to have some support as you start to lean forward and starting with the left foot here. So the knees are soft and you take the weight onto the left leg and start to lift and straighten through the standing leg. And the hip then starts to open as you do that. You're stacking the hips and you can extend the arm towards the ceiling or you can wrap your arm around the back. So bringing the block a little bit out towards the left, that'll help give you a little bit more balance there as you open up. Now we're looking for hair out of the way and also gaze, maybe up towards the hand or out towards the side or towards the floor if you feel your balance going off. So traditionally this pose is done without the block or without any support. But I find that we're not able to get fully into that rotation, particularly if our arms are not as long as the leg. But of course, it's up to you, so do what's right for you. Coming to Tadasana, hands into the heart. As you breathe in, extend, receiving pose. As you exhale, floating down to the floor, tuck in. Bend the knees, breathe in, come back up. Exhale to the heart. We'll do two more. Breathe in, extend, lift through the heart. Exhale, sweep down, forward fold. Reaching back up. Each time we come down and come up through forward bends, we're bending the knees. Once we're into the forward bend, and of course when we're standing, we can straighten up through the legs. And this is more uh, helpful for the hamstrings. Now breathing in, step back with the right foot into your warrior stance. It doesn't have to be a large stance. Foot slightly angled at the back. Arms nice and long and the torso nice and central and tall. Tuck under the tailbone, keep lengthened through the arms, stretching from the center of the chest. And then we turn into the star, place the hands on the waist as you breathe in extend through the heart you might soften the knees exhale come down into your forward fold and let the hands come down to the floor or maybe using a block today lifting up we might as well use that prop for all that we need so any level for the brick or bringing the hands onto the floor we're going to take our brick back around to the front coming into a lunge Nice lengthened back leg, the front knee bent, and our brick out towards the left. A little bit in front of that left leg. We start to rise up into our half moon, the knee starts bent, and then we start to straighten, lengthen up towards the top hip, and open up through the arm or wrap. Uh, make yourself a nice moustache out of your hair. <laughs> Looking up towards the ceiling, releasing down. And coming back into your lunge. 
plant the palms, slide that left leg away. We're coming up towards three legged. And you've got a choice here either to stay straight with that leg or open into the hip, bend into the knee and flex the foot. Press down into the right heel, nice and strong. And then we sweep that leg in and we're coming to Kapatasana, pigeon pose. You can have the foot out to the side, just check in with the knee. If it doesn't feel right, you're sitting down onto the heel. The knee needs to feel good there in that place. So see what works for you, maybe taking that leg out a little bit more. The rotation should feel in the hip, not in the knee. Take a moment to breathe in, lift the chest, extend and then exhale down to the floor, letting the head rest if you can on the floor or onto your hands. When you're ready, press into the hands, come back up through Kapotasana, tuck under the back foot and step back through to downward facing dog, stretching out the back. You can start to let those heels go down to the floor and then come into plank, knees, chest, chin. Remember that cobra and gentle caterpillar roll? Come into that if you like. Coming back through to downward facing dog, stretching out and then if you like walking up rather than stepping up into your forward fold. Breathing in, sweep up with soft knees, exhale, hands into the heart. To the other side, breathing in, extend, open through the heart, sweeping down to the floor. Remember our three extensions, just warming up the spine in this and feeling into that subtle back bend in that heart receiving pose, tucking the tailbone under and then coming down with long straight back into the forward fold. Remember knees soft on the roll down and the way back up. Give yourself a chance to stretch out those legs lifting through the kneecaps of thighs as you come into forward fold if it feels appropriate. Coming back into the heart and ready to come to step back with the left foot. Our warrior stance nice and open tucking under the tailbone nice and tall through the heart space through the spine and lengthening out through the arms. Turning into parallel feet a wide leg forward bend, sorry about the angle, and then coming to rest with the hands down. You can widen out the feet here and take yourself in a little deeper stretch. You keep the legs quite straight and drawing up through the thighs or softening the knees. You might be reaching through with the hands or keeping that support on the block. And we're going to come round to the front, back into our lunge and through to half moon. So just hopping your way up and straightening up through the standing leg, rotating through the pelvis so the left hip stacking over the right. You can be strong through the left foot there and the left arm reaching up towards the ceiling or wrapping around the back, which is really nice for the shoulder. Release back into your lunge and through into our three-legged, your choice, opening out through the hip or keeping that straight long leg. Sweep through into Kapotasana. I'm just checking in with what you need today, if you need that knee aligning with your hip. Releasing down, just allowing the weight of the torso to rest over the leg and stretch deeply into the hips. Coming back up when you're ready, tuck under the back foot, step back through into plank. Nice long line, the belly nice and strong, and then feel that switch off and release as you come back into your downward facing dog. Come through, knees, chest, chin, and glide into your cobra pose. And back up, through into down dog. Walking your way or stepping your way up to the front of the mat. Soften the knees, breathe in, gathering your resources into the heart. Take a moment there in mountain pose. Breathe deep. Thank you for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed creating some space with me today.
and let me know in the comments if you've enjoyed this video.